I got this back master sent to me to make a video about. This is a paid post. Alright, here's everything that comes in the box. You get the tub right here. You get your hose. You get your different uh, pipes right here. And you get a couple of adapters here. This one here is... Uh, Got some brushes on it, same with this one here. This one's also got a squidgy on there. You got your instructions here. Uh, one of the main things you need to know in the instructions is it's got two types of filters here. This filter right here is for the dry vac. And then in the bucket here, it comes with another filter and this one is for the wet vac. So if you're gonna use it for a wet vac, you just unscrew this right here. There's a lock, there's a lock and an unlock there and then you can take this off right here and then you can get in here to take this off this is the filter that you use for doing the dry vac right there but it, it does have a paper in there and if it gets wet it'll uh, wreck it and start to stink so you want to use this one when you're doing the uh, wet vac there if you don't use this screen right here, the float is inside of here, and that float could get all dirty with uh, and clogged up in there. So it comes with this filter here to put over it. The other stuff you get in the box here is you get the handle with the screws for the wheels, and then you get your four wheels here. got the slats on the back there and you just slide these in here and then you just uh, get out your screws here and then you screw it in the holes right there to secure everything all right I'm just gonna go ahead and put this together real quick and then uh, I need to clean my pool and my pool filter so we'll take this out there and I'll vacuum out the water at the bottom of the pool filter and we'll see how it does all right I just got done cleaning the pool filters now I'm gonna go over there and vacuum out the pool filter housing all right let's go over there and take a look at it and see how the vacuum does all right, it doesn't look too bad in there. I just want to get all that water out of there and get any crud that's underneath there. I just want to vacuum all that out. All right, it says here the vac master is five gallons with uh, three peak horsepower. So that's pretty nice. I'll go ahead and uh, get the hose hooked up here. It has, a, it has a nice fitting on the hose here, little uh, nib right there. You just push that in right there and then you crank it over to lock it. So that's pretty nice. So it's locked in there really good. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it works. All right, it sounds like it's full. We'll go ahead and uh, unplug it there and then we'll open it up. Oh so yeah, it looks like it's full there. So I'll go ahead and dump this here. Just unlock this and disconnect it. All right, that looks like that did pretty good. Looks like this is all cleaned out really nice, so it did a really good job of getting all that water out of there. I got some leaves here in my shed, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the dry filter, and then we'll go ahead and uh, see how it works to clean all this mess up in here. All right, I'm just going to take the top off here. Now I'll switch this filter out here, get this wet one off. It's still a little wet from using the wet vac there, so I'll go ahead and dry this off here. All right, now I can put the filter on. It's got a little uh, ring in here. It's got a little ring around there. I'm gonna line that up inside there. Get that squished in there real good. And then this has got a, a lip right there that I wanna put inside here. You can see there's the opening in there. And then it's got a lock button on here. So 
So I'm just going to push that to the lock. There we go. Now it's locked on. And now I can go ahead and uh, get set up here. Let's see. Let's get this lined up here. All right. Now I just got to go plug it in. It's really nice. It has this Velcro on here. I like how it's got the Velcro on the cord there to keep it all organized. <laughs> Be careful not to suck up any fabric there. All right, it looks like it did a pretty good job in here. Got all those leaves up off the floor. Cleaned up a lot of dirt and dust in here. So yeah, it did a pretty good job. All right, let's look at it inside and see what it looks like in here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of leaves in there. Got them, all those in there. How'd the filter do? Looks like we got a few feathers stuck here. That static electricity there's got uh, those feathers stuck on there. A lot of little bird feathers, but yeah, there you go.